I mean, like, <laughs> how do you even go about analyzing this one? Number three in this year's Halloween special, my friends. I'm having a great time looking back at some of the greatest scary movies of all different generations with you once again. And this time around, we have picked one of the most famous psychological horror movies ever made, Rosemary's Baby. This was, of course, written and directed by Roman Polanski, and it stars the one and only Mia Farrow as Rosemary Woodhouse. She's a young woman who comes to believe that her offspring is not of this world. She and her struggling actor husband, Guy, move to a New York City apartment building with an ominous reputation, along with some odd neighbors like Roman and Mitty Cassavet, played by Sidney Blackmer and Ruth Gordon. And when Rosemary becomes pregnant, she becomes increasingly isolated. And the diabolical truth is revealed only after Rosemary gives birth. <laughs> and I dare not give away what that truth actually is, just in case you've never seen Rosemary's Baby, but like... Oh my god. See, I feel like there's a reason why movies like The Exorcist and Hereditary are as successful as they are these days. It's because of pioneers like Alfred Hitchcock movies like Psycho coming out, just really challenging the audience and just creating a whole mystery out of the horror of the situation there. In addition to pioneers like Rosemary's Baby, which I feel like really freaked people the f*** out back in 1968. Like, oh my god. I think when it comes to praising this movie, you have to start with Roman Polanski's direction. It is unbelievable what he's able to achieve with a story like this. He takes a concept that seems absolutely ludicrous in modern America, and similar to what William Friedkin would do with The Exorcist about five years later, he would make something so surreal so realistic, which in turn makes things all the more terrifying. And I just really love that Polanski was using elongated takes to really get the most out of his performers, such as Mia Farrow, who is fantastic in this movie. A lot of people would argue that Rosemary's Baby is her most famous work. How she didn't get an Oscar nomination for this thing is just beyond me, because she was doing a brilliant job of selling the terror of this situation and everything it's throwing at her. Like, the fact that these creepy neighbors are rocking her baby too hard is just like... <sighs> Man. And just the diabolical way that she becomes pregnant is just even scarier than any jump scare. Which I think in turn is why this movie was so groundbreaking for the time. It wasn't relying on the unbelievable surrealism and stuff like that. It wasn't relying on the ghosts. It wasn't relying on the jump scares or anything like that. No, Rosemary's Baby was taking a very, very grounded setting and adding some surrealistic elements into it, and then making those surreal elements realistic. That's why I feel like this movie is as inspiring to a lot of scary movie filmmakers as it is. And Mia Farrow is great in this movie, but I feel like in terms of the acting, the supporting cast is what really makes Rosemary's Baby stand out. And I say this without meaning any disrespect to Mia Farrow whatsoever, but the fact that these supporting players can come into frame and make something so ludicrous feel so horrifying absolutely unreal what Roman Polanski was able to accomplish here. Not nominated for Best Picture in 1968, which I'm sure shocked a ton of people. But I don't know, the Academy doesn't tend to favor scary movies really at all. That is, unless your name's The Exorcist, of course, which came out like five years later, I believe. Overall, Rosemary's Baby in 1968 still holds up as a really, really freaky tale. I don't think it's the most rewatchable movie that we're going to be talking about throughout this playlist. I do feel like the pacing is very, very slow, especially towards the beginning of the film but man once sh hits the fan it is one wild ride to a crazy finish but i'm gonna give rosemary's baby an a that non-perfect grade may shock a lot of horror aficionados but i don't know the pacing just never really felt like it was for me i'm not even gonna sit here and deny despite that that this is one of the most influential scary movies of all time not one of my personal favorites personally i much prefer the exorcist over this but let me know what you think of rosemary's baby down in the comments section below did this movie shock you as well 
well the first time you ever saw it. Obviously, I love making these videos. I love discussing all things in movies and entertainment. And getting to interact with you guys makes things all the more fun for me. And hey, if this is your first time visiting the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Do consider smashing that subscribe button and hit that notification bell right next door. And do me a favor and hit that thumbs up on your way out. That would be really helpful. And stay tuned for more exciting content hitting my channel very, very soon. I'm going to be looking at new releases like Amsterdam and Lyle Lyle Crocodile this weekend. Oh my word. And I'm very excited to announce that up next on this Halloween playlist, we're not straying away from the psychological horror because we're going to be looking at the original Omen movie from 1976. That should be a real blast as well, my friends. But guys, you're awesome. Thank you all so much again for your continuous support. And with all that being said, back talk commence. <laughs>